My grandfather attended Tuskegee University, which was founded by Booker T. Washington not many years after Booker T. Washington had been there. He was a carpenter who built his own home and sent all of his kids, seven of them, to college and was renowned for his carpentry. My mother, who majored in microbiology, was a teacher until she started her family and after five daughters um, pretty much taught us at home. And so in Alabama, there was an understanding with my parents that we would all go to college. And so from them, there was a sense that education was important. I recall the laboratories in organic chemistry and having one partner who might have been very similar to those for whom this was a pre-med major killer because somehow she could burn through the asbestos and set the whole thing on fire. It was amazing to watch. I really enjoyed my classes here. And for me, quite a bit to say that now I occupy the president's office in the same building where I took those classes. The more I studied this university, I just saw a lot of opportunity. And since I've been here, that thought has been confirmed over and over again. And so really, it was the opportunity of myself meshing with this university and making something great happen. There are so many opportunities here at the University of the Sciences, but I think I'll focus just on one, and that's the area of research and strengthening the areas that this institution had been known for throughout its history. One of those was industrial pharmacy. Industrial pharmacy where this institution spurred a lot of technology and the growth of businesses in pharmaceuticals, such as with Eli Lilly, Rohrer, and others. This is the opportunity that I hear from alumni, current faculty, and students that they want to gain back. And so I think here it presents itself as the opportunity for us to regain um, the grandeur that was here in that type of research, as well as others, such as in neurosciences and cancer biology, that will meet the needs for health practitioners as we go forward. I felt such a buzz when I walked into the auditorium, it was palpable. I saw females crying and I didn't quite get it because at that time I didn't realize that I was the first woman president in the history of the institution and the first African-American president either. So um, there were a lot of things going on in my head, but mostly it was that they wanted me and I felt quite welcome. And, and all of that together in a few minutes of an opportunity of greeting an institution for the first time as president um, was just remarkable for me and uplifting. After six months of being at this university, I can say that what I learned from the faculty, staff, and students during my interview has held true. They were very clear about what they wanted for this university, excellence, to achieve it at a level that they hadn't before or maybe they experienced when it was the Philadelphia College for Pharmacy. They wanted a greater sense of community, of coming together and learning more about each other than working in, in silos. And so what I asked of them was a willingness to work toward the kind of ideals that they were telling me they wanted. And what I'm excited about is that the total community, faculty, staff, and students have come together to make those ideals come true. What's been exciting to me is what they're talking about in terms of what they're doing out in the field. And then so I can see our graduates successful and they can also tell me about the changes that are happening in the field and how they're having to change as well. And so I see the value of what our alumni bring to the university in telling us what the field is like and helping us make sure that the curriculum stays current with the field of practice or with the field of research. 
And what I'm even more excited about is that when I talk with them, their willingness to contribute to the university in terms of their time and, and what their thinking is. And so that we know that we'll grow through their expertise because they're willing to give back. We always dreamt that there would be more than we could achieve than we could ever in Alabama in the 50s and the 60s. And so I've always had this idea that the glass was always half full, you know, that lemonade was there and it wasn't just bitter lemons. And so um, reading uh, Barbara Jordan uh, was inspirational. There were quite a few others and that I could continue to read biographies uh, of interesting people, and especially if I could get the autobiographies pretty cheaply. Uh, at the dollar store, I got a, an autobiography of Donald Trump, and so I read that one too. There are quite a few leaders that inspire me, and I take from their lives what I can gain of, how do you stand out and make a difference in the world and do something and you become effective? For me, one of the cornerstones of the mission of this university is teaching, research, service as an integrated phenomenon. These things are not found in isolation within an institution. They have to come together to make sure that a student who goes out into the world understands how all of the learning that is brought to them by the faculty that they bring to themselves come together and make a whole. Expect the unexpected, and that came from the Kung Fu TV series decades ago. But it really um, allows yourself um, not to be bowled over by things that happen, but just to deal with them as something that would occur and to handle them an issue at a time.